CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4, Given a Scenario, Use the Appropriate Microsoft Windows 10 Control Panel Utility. System. Alright, our next stop in the Control Panel Tour is the System Utility. This is where you can view and manage key aspects of your computer's hardware and operating system settings. In this video segment, I will break down what happens when you select system from the control panel, explain its overall purpose, and walk through a couple of use case scenarios. When you select system from the control panel, you'll be taken to the About section of the Windows Settings app. Here, you'll see a summary of your system specifications, including the device name, processor type, installed RAM, system type, and whether your system supports touch. You'll also find information about your Windows operating system specifications. The overall purpose of the system utility is to provide a central location for viewing detailed information about your computer's hardware and operating system. It also offers quick access to tools for managing system performance, configuring hardware settings, and troubleshooting issues. Since there is so much we can do here, let's walk through a basic change just to give you an idea of this utility's inner workings. Suppose you've purchased a second monitor and want to extend the Windows desktop to the new screen. Here's how you can do it using the system utility. First, select Display in the left side navigation pane. This will open the Display Settings window, you'll see your monitors represented as numbered rectangles. You can click Identify to see which number corresponds to each physical monitor if you're not sure which is which. Next, scroll down to the Multiple Displays section and select Extend these displays from the drop down menu. This will allow you to use the second monitor as an extension of your desktop, giving you more screen space to work with. Additionally, you can then drag and drop the numbered monitor icons to match their physical arrangement on your desk as well as adjust the resolution and orientation of each monitor as needed. Now that was pretty basic. How about something more advanced? Now this example might go a bit over your head, but I just want to illustrate a more advanced system change. Keep in mind there are many levels in between basic and advanced, and you will continually rediscover these Windows tools again and again as your knowledge increases. As for this next scenario, we will be listing a new application in the path environment variable. This type of variable is used if you have an application that you want to run from the command prompt without needing to specify its full path every time. Think of this variable as adding a little shortcut. To accomplish this task, click on Advanced System Settings on the right-hand side. This opens the System Properties dialog box. From here, head over to the Advanced tab and click the Environment Variables button. This opens a new window labeled Environment Variables. This window allows you to manage system and user environment variables with just a few clicks. Now to recap, we clicked on the Advanced System Settings link, and then went to the Advanced tab. Does that make this scenario doubly advanced? I say yes. With a few practical scenarios under your belt, I encourage you to now explore the system utility on your own. Check out the various options available, make a basic change like adjusting display settings, or challenge yourself with an advanced modification like updating the path environment variable. Just don't get yourself into too much trouble, or double trouble for that matter. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.